Hi guys, what's up? It's Sydney, and if you're anything like me, you get super nostalgic. Nostalgic, nostalgic, nostal, nostal. Sometimes I get in these moods and all I want to do is like look at old pictures and just like reminisce. So today we're going to be doing just that by going through not my old phone, but my old iPod. Yeah. Just a quick disclaimer, I did take a quick peek at this yesterday only because I did have to hack into it and I wanted to see if there was interesting content, but other than that, this has not been touched since 2013. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting is weird, it's literally 5.42 as I'm filming this and it's just pitch black outside. You guys didn't come here to watch me talk, you came for whatever is in here, so let's get into this. There was no way to screen record my iPod without completely updating it, and I thought that kind of ruined the effect, so like, I'll have pictures and all that over here. Whenever I open my phone, obviously there's my lock screen, and it is this little quote from Lilo and Stitch, very inspirational, which is kind of strange because I know that even back then I was never like into inspirational quotes, but Maybe I went through a phase. And then you have to input a word password, and this took me a while because I didn't remember what my password was. This was me last night struggling with that. I don't know. We have encountered a slight issue. Basically, I had to step in 5th through 7th grade me's shoes and that was a little difficult until I remembered what were you obsessed with? Um, I hacked into my iPod and the password was cheers, so. We don't really talk about the cheer years. It was a rough time for me. Not bashing cheerleaders now, but for me, it just wasn't a match. <laughs> it just looks so old and different. If you're wondering why my screen looks jank, it is because one day in the seventh grade, one sad, fateful day. So I was in seventh grade on a field hockey bus and we were going to an away game, still play field hockey by the way, and I put my iPod in my backpack and then whenever I got home I took it out and I just remember being like so heartbroken because it was just completely shattered and it wouldn't turn on and I was just so sad like I was in disbelief I did not think this was my iPod. Let's look at some of my apps first. Temple Run which I vaguely remember being obsessed with. Whenever I opened Temple Run it was actually paused on my last game and my score was 15,312 so that's exciting. Let's continue that game from like four years ago. Anyway, I also have Instagram on here with the old update, Temple Run 2. Oh god, next we have Video Star. And if you guys didn't use Video Star, I really don't know if it was like a widely used thing, but where I live, everybody always used it. And like whenever you were with your friends, you would just like make little music videos on Video Star. So let's just kind of ease into it and do Party Rock Anthem. Okay. Oh, that's my cousin Erin, and she just looks so different. Nice. Yeah. All right, she's using the phone now. Wow, look at that phone. This was definitely filmed at my grandma's house. I have made an appearance, everyone. I'm supposed to be on the other end, but it is filmed in the same room. Professionalism. I've also got a really nice Aeropostale shirt going, so. That's the whole thing. Guess we never got to finish it. Maybe for the better. Oh my god, that's my old camera. What is this dance like motion? I. No! <laughs> what dance moves? How creative. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, that close up! That was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Okay, moving on. Smile, smile through it. I have pick collage on here and I'm looking at my old collages just really questioning my life. The first collage I have on here is this one. This is literally a picture that I took of my own mouth and inserted text on the app that says, I'm gonna eat you. Why? Let's hop over to notes. Firstly, I would just like to point out how different it looks. Here's what it looked like then. Here's what it looks like now. 
what? The first note on my phone was on December 25th, 2010, which was the day that I got my iPod. I got it for Christmas and a bunch of other people got iPod touches for Christmas and we thought we were so cool. My dad wrote the first note on my iPod and it says, love you, dad. Very meaningful. <laughs> on March 5th, I said, on the plane to Disney, landing soon though, smiley face. I want to go to Disney. On May 29th, I said, might have to get a retainer thing that you wear at night. Ah, you got the retainer thing and you didn't really wear it that often. Let's go to my photos. <laughs> One April Fool's Day, I wanted to like prank my brother. I thought that it would be cool if I made a collage on Instagram. So I took the whispering picture to seem all like secretive and then I took a picture of each of the pranks I did. The first prank that I did was to attach gum to my brother's doorknob. So I guess I thought whenever he went to like turn the doorknob, he'd be like, oh my god, like it's so sticky and weird and, and gross. Haha. -ha. I just remember this backfiring and I had to like scrape the gum off of his doorknob. I also did something with his toothbrush. I don't really remember what, but something. <laughs> what the hell? I literally look like a popper fish. Like I'm suctioning my face to the window. <laughs> oh my god, car selfie. <laughs> I totally posted this on Instagram. It's like cropped and everything. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish, but whatever it is that I was trying to accomplish, I seemed pretty happy about it. Those are all the photos I'm going to react to right now. If you guys want to see like another video that's strictly photos, let me know in the comments below. So that is all I'm going to look at on my iPod. I know it was a bit different, but I personally really enjoyed going through all this weird stuff. Hopefully the cringe wasn't too bad. I mean, if you look at the case, it really just, it really just speaks for itself. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. What is making noise? Oh my god, that noise.